Welcome everyone to the Robo Samurai channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Transformers Siege War for Cybertron Trilogy Refractor Reconnaissance Team 3 Pack. I am reviewing this because this is up for pre-order at places like Big Bad Toy Store and some of your other online retailers and I've decided that we should go on ahead and take a look at this and what came before it and see what the options are and see how it looks. But first of all, let's take a look at the box and the instructions. Oops. All right, everybody. So here's what the box looks like. And when it's, when you get the box, it is transformed into camera mode. So, um, it looks like that. And then this is what it looks like on this side. And you can see it's got some of these foil kind of things going on here. And uh, it's not a generation selects thing, but you can see that it's clearly an extra thing. So it's kind of cool. Um, and there's some of the art on the side here. Let me see if I can get that focused in for you guys. There you go. Very nice looking. Very nice looking indeed. And if you open up this box, um, you do get the instructions, of course, but I just want to show you how this packaging looks here. There is a, this is kind of like a, a top insert here. Then, um, like this, and you can see where the camera actually goes. And the, and the actual front of the camera lens is facing out towards this crosshairs that you see in the front. So very cool stuff. Very, very cool stuff. And... You may store the camera in this mode here um, if you feel like it. So I'm not being, I like this box quite a bit. So uh, I don't know what 114 means. Maybe I'll figure that out. And it's got a little bit of damage, but that's all right. Actually, there's fake damage. There's scratches and there's real damage right here. So fun stuff. Anyway, so Refractor, here he is. And, um, whoa, hey, I'm knocking things over. Okay. So, the original figures basically come as, they don't come with all of these um, accessories. They basically don't come with this thing that I'm pegging onto this figure here. Don't come with uh, these two pieces here. And they don't come with this, um, it's like a flash bulb accessory. But let's talk a little bit about how these things are articulated. See this flash bulb accessory here. We'll talk about all of the accessories in a minute. Let's talk about articulation, and all the figures that I'll be reviewing essentially are the same figure. So, I will also not be talking about its <clears throat> spaceship mode. I won't be also demonstrating that. There are some other, uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll put a short out just showing what the spaceship mode looks like. I'll do a quick video on that. Um, first of all, let's take a look at this one here, just so you can get an idea of what we're dealing with. So, we have... Uh, by the way, this is supposed to be, um, hold on a second, guys. So we've got the instructions here. And this, uh, I forget which one's which, to be honest with you. But you can see that these are the things that it comes with. Refractor, the shutter blaster lens, laser, and optic blaster, which they're all the same gun. That's this one right here, okay? And um, But you can put them all together and make a tripod with it, and I'll show that in a bit. And then these things here, which they call a camera stand connector and memory cards. Okay, yeah, they're all basically the same piece. Then you have the flash launcher, which is the flash cube. Then the shutter armor, which is the side. And uh, the telefocal shields, which turns into the telefocal lens. And you can see they, have, they show you the, in these instructions how to assemble these accessories here. Let's see here, can I get that focused in for you guys? There we go. And where to put all of these other pieces here, and I'll show that. No, it does not come with Grimzeek. Wish it did, but that's okay. Take a look here. You've got uh, the index of the features. Uh, yeah, it just kind of like uh, goes through this propaganda, shooting tips, and blackmail, and surveillance, just all this fun stuff, you know? Spectro, Viewfinder, and Spyglass. So. Those are the three. So we have, I believe this is Spectro here, Viewfinder for sure, and Spyglass here. And this is meant to evoke the same, the same, um, in G1 they had released a figure and they weren't all exactly the same, but they had 
the three different colors. This one was a greenish bluish color. This one was a b dark blue, and then this was a red. So, um, and then here are the instructions, and you can see it's nice and clear instructions on how to transform these guys. And then there's that spaceship mode. I'll cover that in a separate video. But very cool. This is a nice glossy kind of instruction sheet. Okay, onward with the articulation. So you can see. Again, like I said, uh, he's got this uh, waist rotation. I do have this piece on the back that's kind of restricting um, his waist rotation, but he can get all the way around. Um, he's got uh, bend at the knee that far. And yeah, he can do the full squats. Ta-da! And then he has the thigh rotation right there. And then he has the ankle tilt. He has this here is more of a transformation thing, but yeah, he can do that. Sure. And then he can go that far with that, with the, with the, um, nine, over 90 degrees elbow. So we've got all that going on. You got rotation on the head all the way around if you like. And here's what he looks like from the back. This is what they all look like from the back. And that's essentially it. Um, lots of good range of motion though. Very good stuff. Nothing, nothing really restricted here. And as you see, uh, we'll have some you'll be able to have lots of fun with this figure or you can ha uh, have it on your display shelf Which we'll also be showing and you'll see that each one of these has a slightly different set of paint apps These are painted his thighs on this side are painted. They're not painted here. He's got a Decepticon symbol there He also has some paint on his toes And that's it about for this guy here um, on these accessories this piece right here which is, you can see, that's painted around this edge, the rest of it's black with a clear piece in the front. Okay, so this is not painted. The flash bulb is painted on the inside, and that's about it for that. Refractor, this piece right here, Spectro is what you call them. The guns don't have any paint on them whatsoever. The chest here has some green paint, and then he has Refractor printed on this, which is printed, uh, it's also, um, this is also, uh, what should we say, this is, this is, um, painted silver, and this black. But exactly the same stuff, except, oh yeah, these here, this is painted here, if you can see that. And this is where his is supposed to be, he's got paint here on this chest piece here as well. By the way, he did have paint, it's just black paint there, so. Alright, and then we have Spectro, and we have this thing here, this is the shield, it is painted silver and black i believe or it's just painted silver and the rest is black so there's that we have the same piece here the gun not painted he has um some yellow paint here silver paint of course on all of their faces uh, i think that's red paint on his eyes so let's take a look here yeah red paint on his eyes and he has some blue metallic paint that looks spectacular, even though it doesn't quite match the stuff here. Um, yeah, and then he has some paint on his toe pieces here, I guess. Okay, so and his, and his um, thighs are also painted silver, so that's pretty good stuff there. These thighs are not painted silver, it's just the cast pieces. So, and, uh, so I've already shown you this piece here comes off, so and you can put them on any of them. Um, so far to take, and you notice it, I put this one back here for storage, you can see there's more of that blue silver paint, but I could put this here if I wanted to, but I wanted to distinguish these three here. So, to compare these guys, I will show you this here. This is the refractor that came with the Siege line, and you can see that he has a green paint here and some other things here, but this is what they look like. They have the Decepticon symbols, little red paint on the edge of the shield, and then you have, you know, the Decepticon symbol here, um, but you don't have it on his chest like these two guys have. And then you have um, no paint anywhere else, so, and that's how this guy looks. And that's pretty much it, and he's got silver paint on there, very good looking, same exact articulation. He's got some paint here and here and here and here. And some around his arms here, the little red band here, which need, none of these have any of that paint on their arms. So I'll just set this guy aside for the moment. Now there is one other thing you might have noticed is this right here. He has these shields here on top of his shoulders, giving him that 
G1 look that he had, and these are pretty simple accessories to take off, and you can put them on any of the figures, so you just slide them out. And there's a little slide piece, and it goes in there, and tabs right on in. Take it right on out, and take it right on out. And there they are. So, as we go on here, let's get this thing into its camera mode, because that's why we're here, right? All right. So one thing we're going to do is we're going to transform all of these. They're all going to take essentially the same transformation. So uh, let's go with this one here. All right. So we're going to turn the head all the way around, flip it down into there. Then we want to take these here, his arms, push them into the back like this. Okay. And then we're going to take this here. Uh oh, and we're going to put it up here. Flip these around and do the same thing here. Flip the hand, flip the arm, the hands down into these areas here. Okay. Next thing, we're going to flip these skids out, which we are not going to use for this uh, particular transformation. Turn these all the way around, and then we are going to rotate this all the way around like so. Now we're kind of in this position now. So we want we want to do is flip this up and flip this all the way in and then collapse it like that. Do the same thing on the other side. And be careful because there is a, there are a couple of things here. You wanna make sure that these tabs stay out. You can tab them together and put it together that way, but um, you wanna make sure that uh, when you get these collapsed in properly, you can now tab this in and you have that piece ready to go. And that's this. Okay. All right. Now for this guy here, same thing. Flip, flip. Exactly the same. Exactly the same for all of these guys. There you go. All right. Okay. So now we've done that. And here's how we're going to decorate these up. So this piece here, you're going to flip inside. Do the same thing with this one. And then we're going to take this and put it here. And take this here and put it here. Okay. And there's that and that and push it together. You, alternatively, you can just tab them together and then just do this. Drop them in and then slide the whole thing back. Okay, now this here we want to take and we're going to put this here and we're going to plug this in here like that. So there's a there's post tab, tab post, see? Very simple. Boom. Same thing on this side, just the opposite way. There's that. Now, not quite done yet, so let's assemble this. These three pieces go together like so. One, two, three. All right. Oh, whoa. Make sure that they're oh, tabbed together pretty nice. And yeah, you can, um, you can leave that piece here. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. You can, you can take this off, but I prefer to leave it on because it will fit. There's two slots there. And you want to just fit this right into those slots there, and that'll hold it in place. See? Perfectly fine. Then, what I like to do is I like to take this, and I like to put it here. Um, there isn't any official other place to put it, I don't think. So, you could store it back here, of course. If you wanted to, you could put it here. There is also this here. So, 
what we want to do is you take this here and we can take these two posts and plug them into the part right there fold this all the way down snap that into place I believe and then close this up there's that piece and then there is the flash and you just plug that into here okay so there's those pieces there now we're gonna take these three and then we're going to tab all three of them together kind of like this and you can see that they kind of tab and slot together whoops kind of like that and then you want to take one of these and you'll notice that there's three pegs here they will slot into this little guy just fine like that push it down nice and snugly then you can take this and plug it in here and there's refractor in his camera mode and man he looks so so good this just looks like a great 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 camera I mean this is me this is great great stuff right here yeah you can see all that stuff in the back there but this is fantastic so yeah this is very nice nice stuff here hey and so here for comparison is the original reflect reflect refractor and if you had to buy you had to buy three of these separately um, in order to get this uh, mode here this camera mode so and that's exactly what I did now can these pieces fit on there absolutely they can in fact um, I'm going to go on ahead and do that for you so you can see what this looks like so I'll put this here um, I wish it was reflector I think that they do make some um, kits for that so uh, some I think a repro label and you can get that replaced and say reflector or nothing at all so there we go so you can put that and that on there and you can have more of the classic G1 look with those accessory parts. I don't think if we put this on there, which I will do in a second here, it would make much of a difference. But I do like this. This is very cool. In fact, this is probably how I'm going to have mine displayed uh, going forward here. So, yeah, it's very, very nice stuff. So, and in fact, let's just let's test that out. Let's see what that looks like. Let's put this last piece on here and see if you like that. I am personally not going to do that because I like the G1 look that it provides. I do have a third party version of Reflector, or Reflector I should say. And yeah, look, this here needs to come in unpegged. There we go. So like that. And yeah, frankly, I mean, that's all right. That's not too bad, I guess. Um, but frankly, I think personally, it just, if you don't have this piece on there it reflects the g1 uh, version much more accurately or what you see on screen and that's oops and that would be in the um in the uh the i believe in the pilot of the transformers uh more than meets the eye the very first ones you can see it like and it's a lot like this and this is cool so very very nice very very cool so you can enhance your existing refractor set but for the purposes of this review, I'll go on ahead and replace these little guys here. Just this and this. It's very solid, by the way. All the joints are nice and tight. And I don't know if they're going to be reissuing these purple ones, the Siege ones. But man, that would be good. I know that they're coming out with uh, more stock of this particular kit right here. So um, thank you for joining me. That's about all I have for this review. I think it's definitely worth your money. And I'd recommend that... Um, yeah, if you can go on ahead and pre-order it at the time of this recording, you can do so. So thank you for joining me, and we'll talk to you next time.